to our final conversation for today. We have return guests with us, of course. We are talking about forest gardens and, of course, the significance of Chaya uh, in the Maya community and, of course, for the rest of us as well. We have with us on set Dr. Annabel Ford, who is the president of Exploring Solutions Past, the Maya Forest Alliance and director. And we have Cynthia Ellis Topsy, who is the Duke of Edinburgh's Award International Representative in Belize. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Well, I saw you brought the chaya today, Dr. Ford, right? <laughs> yes, well. If we were talking about this mysterious plant the last time, and now you bring it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be a mystery. It should be in <laughs> every not. house. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's such a, a healthy plant, but more importantly, it holds such cultural significance uh, mm -hmm. for the Mayans as well, right? Right. So let's just do that refresher there. So when you started off your uh, rotating, your exhibit on looking at dinner with the Maya, um, it was called Chaya, Dinner with the Maya. It was about showing how in the Mayan culture, we, they've used forest gardens and it's such, been such an integral part of how they live their lives. And how they manage the landscape. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to be careful about temperature. Yeah. You know, is it, does anyone notice a rising temperature? Oh, yeah. absolutely. And if, you, if you're waiting in a, for someone, a bus or a, a, a vehicle, do you wait in the sun or? shade yeah so shade is a temperature dropper mm -hmm. uh, of course a co uh, th we can increase biodiversity by planting chaya and other things you know yeah. mame, uh, uh, what other kinds of things we eat um, mm -hmm. increase biodiversity simply having that mm -hmm. uh, we can conserve water which I don't know if anyone knows but it's more valuable now than practically the fuel you put in your vehicle yeah. fertility how are we going to eat without good fertile soil we need yeah. to manage that reduce erosion, keep the soil on it, and yeah. care, f care for people. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Yeah. And the, the, uh, the things we will talk about tonight with Dr. Joseph Palacio, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is how why it's so important that we conserve uh, places like El Pilar and how, mm -hmm. and how connect with traditional landscape yeah. work that both all, in, all indigenous people, Garifuna, Maya, anyone that was here even maybe 100 years ago or 50 years ago, first came here, people were living much closer to mm -hmm. the landscape and were able to draw everything from that landscape. Well, that was going to be my question because I think oftentimes when people think of development mm -hmm. um, and the places that we hold as the ideal in terms of what a developed city looks like, it's concrete jungles. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's less green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, and what you're trying to discuss is how important it is for us to not go that direction. Yeah. Well, uh, in fact, you can have greenery in your own backyards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have an example. I don't know if you got that, uh, but uh, just of, of this small base of operations I have in Cayo mm -hmm. of what it looked like when I first acquired it, and that mm -hmm. was in 2005. Yeah. And then what it looks like no. the two years later, mm -hmm. and then what it looks like today. Yeah. And the thing is, is that you can eat. You can have medicine, you can have herbs, you can mm -hmm. have fruit, you can have tea, you can have uh, 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 anota, you know, anato mm -hmm. for making uh, ricado. Ricado, and, yeah. Um, I mean, you can just have everything, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and uh, and and it also is beautiful. Reduces dust. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> all weather roads and, and what what's happening on our roads today. I know yeah. they'll get better, but it is a little. Uh, mm -hmm. So the the gar the garden helps to keep the dust down. Well, yeah, about collects, your house? Uh, definitely. I mean, you're not going to stop it. I, I don't mean to say that. Yeah. But yeah. Of course, it's capturing all the atmospheric uh, mm -hmm. uh, material. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's very, I mean, and then you have a little bit more privacy, you would say. Mm -hmm. What's interesting, I want to talk a little bit about, well, before, they, I hope to see my thing. Mm -hmm. Chaya is perennial. Mm -hmm. It's a tree spinach, so you always have your spinach. Mm -hmm. It's got more calcium, more uh, iron than, than spinach, mm -hmm. you know, that is not perennial. And this invention of the Maya, because it's really an interesting invention, it's a clone. So it's the DNA of this one, mm -hmm. the DNA in my house up in Cayo, the DNA in, in uh, Flores or in Palenque or in mm -hmm. Merida is essentially the same because the seeds are not viable. Mm -hmm. Does any, do you know that we have chaya in the forest? The leaves are the same, but they're like giant. Uh -huh. They're like stinging nettles. You mm -hmm. touch them and they burn you. Yeah. yeah. 
This one is not like that. That doesn't burn? Doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. It sometimes bites, they say. Okay. If some, some of them have a little yeah. thing here, but this one doesn't. Um, See, I grew up knowing <coughs> that if the chaya tree is around, be careful, because yeah. it's going to sting you. Yeah. That's how I grew up. Because my yeah, mom but, grew that. Yeah, yeah, but it it was it just had a little bite. Okay. It, but it was it wouldn't be like the the the, the one in the forest mm -hmm. has is just covered with little um, little fuzz okay. and those fuzz burn you. Mm -hmm. But think about how you get from that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here here's my house. Look at this. Mm -hmm. What it looked like when I first rented it, and what it looked like two years later. Two years later. <coughs> just two years later. Yeah. And then uh, uh, the next picture is today. Mm -hmm. See. So, so that's what it was like in the beginning, and what you put plants, <laughs> what type of plants are those? I oh, see we have planted. banana, banana. Uh, we have um, a madre cacao, we have um, ramon, which I brought some example things of ramon, uh, uh, all kinds of things. And this is what it looks like today. My neighbors have no, and it cools you down. Yeah. You have moist earth, so yeah. you're keeping, you're attracting. I have birds that you don't see anywhere, mm -hmm. and I get volunteers. Siricote, can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Siricote, I have a siricote back there. I did not plant it. <laughs> um, and the first year, I, 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 you know, ever, uh, you, you know, warumo or trumpet tree. Mm -hmm. I wanted I to plant know. trumpet tree. And the forest gardeners, they practically, they were almost rolling on the floor with laughter because <laughs> it, they say it will come. It's a volunteer, but it's a mm -hmm. sign of good earth. It's the yeah. big flower. Trumpet tree? I don't know yeah. which one that it's is. It's got a huge, huge um, hand of uh, lobes of oh, leaves, yeah. and it grows very slender. Yes, yes. And it's very much an early uh, succession. It's early in the things. But when you see it, you know you have good soil. Plus, the big leaves drop and yeah. bring more organic matter. So I wanted one. They were literally rolling on the floor. Even when I tell a story to them now, they can't help but laugh. Oh, because you don't plant it. Well, I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to plant it. They say, it will come. Yeah, it so will come, they said. The mm. next year I had my warumo. In fact, I was preferring the warumo over my mm. sour sap, and, I, and, I, and my forest gardeners were admonishing me. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you not One want your... One provides food. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> drink. Right. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't have... I have more shade now. I have a mahogany. I have a mahogany tree. I don't know if... I, I can see it there. It is now... Well, it's 10 years. It's actually 15, 15 years later. It's, it's it like be this big. big. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's that big. Yeah. And, and that's best for making guitars. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I'm impressed of what can happen when you mm -hmm. actually invite that world back. Yeah. No, I think what, what, what you're showing us is really, it, it's getting the buy-in um, from residents as well, because mm -hmm. sometimes we see something like that, and we say, oh, look at this overgrown lot. Mm -hmm. Like, why doesn't this lady yeah, trim not, trees? Yeah, yeah, people come by and want to do that. <laughs> and I say, no, look at what we have. I have ornamentals, I have heliconia, I yeah. have... Uh, A little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. And, like you say, it's cooler, and it does reduce the dust. I, w yeah. I brought my vehicle in uh, to Bravo to get something done. They said, do you live on a dirt road? I said, do you live in Belize? <laughs> <laughs> I don't live on a dirt road. I live on an all-weather road. <laughs> <laughs> now, Cynthia, talk to us. We know you've been a collaborator in this project. Uh, talk to us about uh, where we are now and, and especially looking mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for having us back. We just recently came back from Guatemala City mm -hmm. where there was a gathering of experts mm -hmm. from Mexico, Belize, Guatemala. And what was very exciting about this conversation was the facilitator said to us, think out of the box. For years we've been having these discussions about sustainable development, biodiversity, so what? Mm -hmm. What impact has that had on the communities and the people themselves? Mm -hmm. And I was very excited to be with Dr. Ford at this gathering because we were challenged to be innovative. Yeah. We were challenged that same old, same old was not good enough in terms of what's happening in the world today as far as, you know, better than me, violence, crime, etc., etc., climate yeah. change and so on. And so um, one of the things that emerged out of it for us based on these issues here is exactly that. How do you get the buy-in? One, we had a conversation about validating our relationship with the plants, who we are as a people, the Maya, the Garifuna, the Mestizo, Belizeans, in terms of promoting wealth untold. Because mm -hmm. when it comes to the process and the documentation, it's mostly people who come from outside of Belize 
who have been the researchers and so on and so forth. Yeah. And so I feel very honored mm -hmm. to walk with Dr. Ford in terms of changing the conversation. Yeah. To value the fact, and thank God she's open, that <laughs> had it not been for the indigenous forest gardens mm -hmm. and the people, the Maya, the Garifuna, who don't necessarily have the capacity to navigate these systems without facilitation, we would not have, she would not have gotten her doctorate. Mm. So that was part of the conversation among these three countries. Yeah. And we even came up with a um, focus on what is this Maya seal? Mm -hmm. what, what, is the, what, is the, what is it? What does it mean to be Maya? What does it mean to be indigenous? And to what extent are the Maya benefiting from all of this? Mm -hmm. You know, is this a part of the curriculum for science or for agriculture in our schools, not only in Belize, but for the region and for the world. Mm -hmm. So that's how I would really like us to enter into this conversation and the exhibit the, is not just show and tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has a dynamism that we would like to see translated beyond the event. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I know very clearly from when you started the exhibit, um, and now it's back in Belize, you're having a... a no, we, it's been in Belize been the in whole Belize time. Today. But you have an event tonight. Yes, this yeah. is closing. And um, we, we, will, we will. And then you move to the museum. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes we will. So, uh, from the very beginning when you, when you launched it, you talked of wanting kind of an integrated experience. It was not just mm -hmm. to come and watch pictures. Right. It was about uh, learning through the process and also acknowledging the very important, the critical point that you said, maybe mm -hmm. stirring the conversation. How, do, how does the Mayan uh, population benefit from the history yeah. they're providing to us? Um, even through this exhibit. So looking now from when you first started to closing off and moving to a new venue, um, what do you think has been the, the significant growths or achievements along that way or even conversations that you never thought were going to spur from it? Well, I think that the, the, the household belongings really does resonate and yeah. that's what the museum, what uh, the director, uh, Alexis uh, Salazar yeah. really, really wants to see more of, and I think this will really transform. Yeah. I mean, when it goes to the museum, it may look the same initially, but it's going to transform to something that is really palpable yeah. and can really bring out that relationship. We all drink, uh, cook, store, mm -hmm. and, and the things that we're looking at, the Maya had to drink, cook, store, and they had to have uh, food as well. Yeah. So where was their supermarket? How did they use it? What did they do to manipulate? This is a manipulated product, mm -hmm. but the product in the end is better than the one that, was, that they manipulated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, can, you can't plant a seed, but you just cut it and we'll leave you some. <laughs> and we have, we have, we brought sticks to give to people at the, um, yeah. at the closing the event. event. So you don't use seeds, you just use a portion of the yeah. plant. Yeah, you, and, and you cut it, I, uh, you have to look at where this little dot is and mm -hmm. what I call the smile. The smile goes down and the dot goes up and you just plant one in, in the ground and one out and then you have yeah. your next plant. Mm -hmm. And you can just go plant a line, plant a circle. And it grows very easily. Mm -hmm. Grows pretty easily. I, uh, I mean, you, you know, of course you can't guarantee everything's going to pop <laughs> up. But if you take a couple, you're going to have yeah. something I mean, if come. you put it in K, yeah. you, you're asking right, right. for a lot. Well, and you know, like Kanan Kash, which is the Maya term, we, we translate it uh, well cared for, forest. well cared for forest, uh -huh. but it really is a dialectic because it's not you have to pay attention whether it needs water or if it needs dry, if it needs sun. Yeah. These aren't getting enough sun, so they're changing their color, you know. Mm -hmm. So we need to change that. Mm -hmm. We need to listen to the plants. The plants are a lot slower than we are yeah. to respond, and we have to pay yeah. attention to them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really what the story is about. And I haven't, I don't even know half the things. These mm -hmm. wonderful forest gardeners. We'll have several forest gardeners there. Narciso Torres, I say, I wouldn't know anything without him. Their observation, mm -hmm. they know the smell the color of the, of the plant, of the seed when it drops, the, the animals that it attracts, the, mm -hmm. the shape of the flower or the, mm -hmm. or the leaf. It's, it's phenomenal the kinds of ways That's they observe. Yeah. yeah. And so tonight, do you tell us what people can expect if they come out. It's a public event. It's yes. at 6 p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, Dr. Joseph Palazzo will be our feature speaker, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is very exciting because he was one of the originators or one of the first Belizean archaeologists. Yes, indeed. And so it's very significant that he's honoring us with his presence. He's Garifuna, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is very significant because that helps us in 
that shift that we are now openly declaring yeah. that this knowledge and this information is for all groups, all ethnic groups. And so we have Garifuna Creole, Mestizo, and other forest gardeners. Mm -hmm. And so that's very exciting that we will um, journey with him in terms of what his experience has been like. Yeah. More important, we would like to have, as you said, the buy-in and the involvement of the community from all walks mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. We would like to have people visit El Pilar. We would like to have people have gardens, forest yeah. gardens. We would like to mm -hmm. have people, um, the schools, in fact, involved so that it becomes a part of the curriculum. And we're very excited that we've been getting that kind of support. Yeah, so. and really, uh, people have watched your uh, programs oh, have yes, brought oh, up yes, the yes, Chaya. Yes. I mean, there's been there's been <laughs> some yes. resonation, yes. so you're really right. Nobody was happier you. than my mother, because when I showed Chaya my whole life, she said, see, it was very good for you. Yeah. Because we spoke of, of the connection to the Maya, but it's also really healthy. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. They, they were doing something that we need to all benefit from yeah. and share. And more important, and not, not more important, just as important is the economic mm -hmm. dynamics of it, people yeah. who are looking for jobs and all that kind of thing. The land, in the World Trade Organization um, in, in Jamaica has supported mm -hmm. the Maroons in terms of valuing what is on the land. Yeah. And yeah. They, so this is the kind of thing that we are looking at. Wealth untold, yeah. tell it. That our land, we are not, we're not, we're not poor. And, and, yeah. and under the shade we flourish. Does Absolutely. that resonate anywhere here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the temperature is? Go to, we should get students to go out and take a temperature out in the middle of the street. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll yes. be 40, 50, even 60 degrees centigrade. Mm -hmm. And you go under the tree and it's going to be, you know, 20 to yeah, 30. Cool. You know, I mean, so just. Well, we all know that. We don't even have to think no. of the temperature. <laughs> if it's hot outside, it's we find the air shade to be as cool as yeah. possible. So we invite people to bring their yeah. plants and mm -hmm. to share. Yeah. at the event the um live we did a traveling exhibition with us as well yeah mm -hmm. and the stories behind the plants the plants don't just stand by themselves yeah, yeah. they're connected to people yeah. that's what i always find yeah. fascinating <laughs> if you do hike like when you go on hike sometimes and mm. you see that you know the plant that sting stings you there's the remedy plant maybe yeah. just a few absolutely. feet away yeah. absolutely naturally absolutely mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and i like how you talk about your mother because that's same thing with my mother. My yeah. mother comes alive mm -hmm. when she's with her plant. She's yeah. talking. She's not crazy. Oh. She's talking wow. with her plant. They say that's she's a secret, <laughs> right? <laughs> you have a different thing. She said, well, we, certain people, if you have bad mind, if you're mm -hmm. not with a good energy, mm -hmm. the plant could die, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's beautiful. So we need to think about how to further this, yeah. yes. talk more about yes. the forest gardens, yes. bring forest gardeners to you so yes. people, yeah. yes. people are really are, are I see it happen. The yeah, there you see something happen. But Annabelle, the last time, Dr. Annabelle, the last time when we came, you you had offered that we could have a series of conversations because yeah. there's only so much. There's we a can lot share, of information, you know. Yeah. And I was going to get to that because we 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 talk about Chaya because mm -hmm. that's kind of your your piece de resistance. Yeah. They, they, mm -hmm. Because in talking about Mayan connection and, and where we are today. But there are other plants as well oh that hold great yes. significance. Yeah, of course, Ramon. I know Ramon. you have a whole book. This yeah, is my. This is this is a. a, a it was really made for children, but it's also a philosophy mm -hmm. of how to take yeah. care of the uh, landscape. Yeah. And Ramon is one of the dominant trees of the Maya forest, and it mm -hmm. has fodder for the uh, time of chicle, and it has. Uh, a seed that turns into a flower. Yes, this this flower. we got in um, Ishlu. Yes, okay. Yes, we brought this when we came from Guatemala on yeah. our way back. Mm -hmm. And one of the things too is that um, there's a dynamic, this really called about organic farming, mm -hmm. gardening mm -hmm. that is like Columbus, you know, recently yeah. discovered. That's very good. Trending. For That's real, all you know. Yeah, yeah so that's what, why she said. Yeah. What we're doing, or let's say from my Belizean perspective, I am claiming it and declaring it yeah. and embracing it. And at that meeting with these three countries, that is yeah. what we decided. Yeah. That yeah. we have the responsibility to be assertive. Yeah. That we have children. Our children must be archaeologists, anthropologists, yeah. mm -hmm. and let us sit at the feet of our elders who have yeah. this valuable information already. Well, see, and, and I'm glad you thought of that because that's perhaps <laughs> one part of the conversation we mm -hmm. haven't moved into as we quickly run out of time. Mm -hmm. Is <laughs> that there's also economic opportunity. Absolutely. The world is hungry yeah. for ideas Just like mm -hmm. flower yeah. from a plant. Exactly. Um, and I mean flower as in yeah. like 
eating. White flour. This, this is yeah. much more nutritious than any flour. It doesn't mm. have gluten, so it's gluten free. Precisely. Yeah. So we have spinach um, this, this is what thing. people talk about, but chaya is extremely healthy. There's so many products we could make exactly. from that. In, in Kayo, there's chaya juice tonight, right? Yeah, we're going to have chaya, chaya juice and, and Ramon juice. And Ramon okay. But juice. I want to tell you, uh, Pops in, in Kayo says he's looking for people to bring in the. Uh, right. He needs more of this more so of little plants. homes could and have, they, you know, yeah, could bring, yeah. they bring want their a chaya. Source. They want the source for it. So, and it can be a unique Belizean product versus doing spinach, which we do have, but we could say our meals are with chaya. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Actually, it has to do with just affirmation affirming our people with what we have already yeah. because sometimes you're talking about you're going to look for a job and no job not a mm -hmm. but you can create your own job and your own business if you realize if we realize or when we realize that what we have mm -hmm. is of value yeah. all right so the start of that conversation for some people can happen tonight, tonight. Mm -hmm. at six, six o'clock at the mexican institute here Absolute. in belize city yes. Um, and you'll have presentations from other people. Yeah, you'll get Dr. chaya Joseph juice Palazzo. if you've never had it before. Yeah. And you can take a stick of chaya and plant it yourself, uh -huh. which is very important. You can become independent <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, chaya. We're going to give you. All we're right. give you. And after that, uh, the exhibit then moves, or portions of it move to the museum. I think the whole right. thing will move, we'll it'll we'll be, but it'll be transformed okay. into a whole new one that's more connected to the yeah. curriculum. And as, right. okay. as we work together, it's going to uh, even become better. It's, it's going to yeah. be very exciting, this move. Yeah. Great. Well, best right. of luck tonight. Thank you very much. Okay. And thank See you, you for tonight. coming back Thank again. you, too, for having us. We're going to go ahead now and take that final break. And when we come back, we'll have a wrap-up. So stay tuned.